Hello students, welcome back. Before going over to the next question, I'd like to request you to go through the playlist featuring the previous year's solved physics numerical board questions. I've shared the link of the playlist in the description box. Please do check out all the questions and practice all of them before going to the exam. Hello students, welcome back. Let's have a look at the next question. It's a question from the light chapter and it's a sample paper question. So it reads like the above image shows a thin lens of focal length 5 meter. Question is, what's the kind of lens shown in the above figure? Second, if a real inverted image is to be formed by this lens at a distance of 7 meter from the optical center, then show with calculation where should the object be placed. And the third question is, draw a neatly label diagram of the image formation mentioned in question number 2. Okay, so the first bit is the lens which is shown in the figure is a convex lens. So this is a convex lens. Second, a real inverted image is formed by this lens at a distance of 7 meter. So, the image distance here is given as plus 7 meter. It's a real image and is formed at a distance of 7 meter from the optical center to its right. Now, the focal length of this lens is given as 5 meter. So, now we know that the convex lens has a positive focal length. So, the focal length is 5 meter or plus 5 meter. Now, we are asked to find out the object distance. So, the object distance can be found out using the lens formula which is 1 by f is 1 by v minus 1 by u. Now, we can substitute the values of v and f to find out the value of u. But before that, let me teach you a technique in which you can check whether your answer is correct or not. So, let's see what's that. So today we learn about a new technique of remembering these ray diagrams easily. Children often find it difficult to remember as to where the image will be formed when object is to the left of 2F1 and where the image will be formed if the object is to the right of 2F1. So let us remember the left left, left left and right right rule. Now, what is the left left and right right rule? Now, this left left and right right rule can be applied only for convex lens. So, what is that? This rule says that if the object is kept to the left of C1 or to the left of 2F1, the image which will be formed on the other side will be to the left of 2F2 or C2. I repeat, if the object is kept to the left of C1 or 2F1, the image which will be formed on the other side will be to the left of 2F2 or C2. So, this is the left and this also is the left. So this is the left left rule. Now, come to the next one. When the object is placed to the right of 2F1 or C1, here you can see the object is placed to the right of 2F1 or C1. The image which is formed is now to the right of 2F2 or C2. Okay. See, if the object is kept to the right of 2F1 or C1, the image which will be formed on the other side will be to the right of 2F2 or C2. Okay. So, this is the left left right right rule which can be applied to convex lens to remember the ray diagrams easily. So, now I hope it is clear. But this is not applicable for the mirror. The mirror has another rule. We will discuss about it in some other video. So, in the convex lens, you can easily apply the left left and right right rule to remember the image formation. Okay, now coming back to our question. In our question, the focal length of our lens is 5 meter. Now, this is 5 meter. The image is formed at a distance of 7 meter. Now, you see this distance is 5 meter. F2 is 5 meter, right? So, the focal length is 5 meter. So, the double of the focal length that will be the center of curvature or 2F1 will be at a distance of 10 meter, right? So, the image is formed at a distance of 7 meter. It means that the image is formed somewhere here, right? The image is formed somewhere here. Now, this distance is 7 meter, 7 meter. Now, this image is formed here is lying in between F2 and 2F2, right? Now, if we apply the left, left, right, right rule, we see that the image is formed to the left of 2F2. So, 
if the image is to the left of 2f2 then the object will be to the left of 2f1 right so here is our 2f1 so our object is formed to the left of 2f1 now if this is again 5 meter f1 is 5 meter 2f1 will be 10 meter right now since our object has to be placed to the left of 2f1 so we can ascertain that our object distance u should be at a distance greater than 10 meter right to the left of optical center o now following the left left right right rule we see that our image is situated at a distance of 7 meter from the optical center which is to the left of 2f2 because 2f2 means it's the double the distance of the focal length that is 10 meter now image is situated at 7 meter means it is to the left of 2f2 now by following the left left rule we see that if the image is formed to the left of 2f2 it means that our object is to the left of 2f1 for sure and its distance that is object distance should be more than 10 meter now if we get an object distance more than 10 meter that means our answer is correct so let's now find out using the lens formula 1 by u will be 1 by v minus 1 by f now v is 7 minus 1 by 5 so lcm is 7 into 5 so 7 7 cancels it's 5 minus 5 5 cancels it's 7 so it's minus 2 by 7 into 5 so it cannot be further reduced so i write here 1 by u is minus 2 by 35 or u is minus 35 by 2 that is minus 17.5 meter so this is greater than 10 meter an answer that our object situated at a distance of 17.5 meter from the optical center negative sign indicates that it's towards the left of the optical center our answer is verified that it is correct now coming to the ray diagram now in the third bit we are asked to draw a ray diagram of the same many a times children tell me that they are not getting the ray diagrams correctly so today i teach you a technique using which you will get your ray diagrams absolutely correct each time you draw it for that you need to take a scale and after you draw the optical device whether it's a mirror or a lens okay take the optical center coinciding with any number on the scale so here i have taken the number 6 now you see here exactly after 1 inch i have taken f2 so this now is 5 meter and this also is 5 meter now exactly double of that so now if for one unit i take this is f2 now 2f2 or the center of curvature will be exactly one more inch that is double of it so here on the principal axis exactly take the double so if this is one inch you have taken after two inches exactly write down 2f2 and that will be the double of that distance right so similarly if this is f1 exactly double of it will be 2f1 okay now our object distance is at minus 17.5 so if this is 5 this should be 10 and exactly another inch to the left it will be 15 over here and another inch to the left will be 20 over here so now my object distance is 17.5 meter to the left so this is 5 this is 10 this is 15 so 17 would be somewhere here okay so this is the point where my object is supposed to be placed now if this one is 5 this 2f1 is 10 now since ab is my object and it's situated a distance of 17.5 meter to the left of the optical center now one ray will go parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will pass through f1 another ray will pass through the optical center and thus you see these two rays meet at this point and here is the point where the image is formed so this is b dash a dash and this is your image so as you can see if we follow the left left right right rule 
you see the object when it is placed to the left of the center of curvature or 2f2 the image is formed to the left of 2f1 left of 2f1 or c1 in this way if you take the values accurately if you take a scale and draw the numbers or draw the points taking the values which coincides with the scale you will definitely get a correct ray diagram so this was the image formation as asked in the question so if we write about the image characteristics the image is a real and it's it's inverted it's diminished formed between f1 and 2f1 so in today's video you learned two new things one is the left left right right rule and the second one is the scaling your ray diagram so if you scale your ray diagram properly your ray diagrams will surely come out correct i hope this video was helpful to you if this video helped you please like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video thanks for watching bye